happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to Shins Live. Thank you guys for logging in. Um, hopefully, you guys got to spend some time outside. It was like a beautiful day today, right? Like gorgeous, right? I love the sun. Right? Toby, you love the sun. Toby loves the sun, okay? So hopefully, you guys got to play outside a little bit. Okay, if not, it was like today was like a really awesome sunny day. Um, we're going to start off with the three things that we're, we're uh, grateful for. Right, every day you're supposed to practice your mindfulness activities, like the three things that you guys are grateful for. Um, so Eddie, what are the three things that you're grateful for today? Three things. I'm grateful for sleep. Oh, for sleep. Love. And peanut butter. Oh, oh. Butter and peanut, peanut butter. butter. Peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Yeah. And then uh, last, I want to say um, martial arts because I Ooh. like to train. Okay, he likes to train martial arts. Yay. Okay, so remember, every day it can be different. It can be like super simple stuff like... Literally, like food, okay? Or like a specific food. It can be anything, okay? Uh, Toby, what about you? Um, the sun. Oh, you like sunshine too! Toby's a big fan. I don't, I don't think Toby likes it when it gets all rainy because then his, his coat gets all wet and like, right, Toby? He gets all, and he gets cold, he said. He gets cold and he doesn't like to get all dirty. Yeah, I think he's a little bit gentrified, okay? What's the second thing, Toby? Electronics during the quarantine. Oh, he totally loves his electronics during the quarantine. He's been doing a lot of electronics. That's so cool. Okay, one more, one more, Toby. Nunchucks. Oh, and his nunchucks. Yay! And Toby loves his nunchucks. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Okay, so like the, the three things that I'm grateful for because I I kind of like just spent a little bit of time outside today, just kind of like just looking up at the sky, I like listened to the birds, right? Okay, so I'm grateful for pretty flowers. There's so many flowers out right now because it's springtime, okay? Okay, so guys can like flowers too. I looked at all the different colors, okay? Um, and I also saw bees, like bees. I haven't seen bees in a long time because, um, because of, you know, since there's been so much pollution and like climate change and all that stuff, like I don't see as many bees, but, but today I saw like three bees. I'm grateful for bees because they make honey. And they go over, like, from flower to flower, and they pollinate, right? Okay, I hope you guys remember that from school. If you haven't learned that yet, you're going to learn that. The bees go from, like, different places, and they pollinate stuff, okay? And the third thing I'm grateful for is my veggie garden. So I'm going to be planting some vegetables. Like, the, I've been doing it for, like, two summers in a row. I grow, like, tomatoes and, like, jalapenos and, like, serrano peppers and habaneros because I like spicy food. So I'm going to grow some more spicy stuff this summer. Okay, so I'm grateful for those three things. Okay, I think we can start. Toby, why don't you bow us in? Okay, so Toby's going to bow us in. And don't forget, if you guys didn't tune in yesterday, if you guys didn't log in yesterday, Toby earned his third stripe. Yay, Toby! So you guys notice he's got three stripes now. Okay, Toby's got three stripes now. Okay, so by the time we're all done with this, he's probably going to have a whole bunch of stripes around his white belt. And then he's going to come in and chop wood for his final... But his final step for his yellow belt test. That's going to be the final thing he does. Okay? So once we're all back at Shins and we have a belt testing, he's going to come in, chop some wood, and earn that yellow belt. Okay? Because he's not ready for a yellow belt yet because he has to learn how to practice his moves against, like, other human beings. And since you guys are at home, he doesn't get to practice that. Okay? So grab your nunchucks. Grab your towel chucks. Now, Sarati's going to use them. Remember, you guys can use them as jump ropes. So, like, Sarati show them some jump roping moves. He can do, like, crisscrosses, right? Oh, look at that. He can go backwards. And then, like, Toby can use it for nunchucks. You guys can use your towel chucks, your nunchucks. You can use two of them. You can use one of them. You can use, like, none of them if you want to just get up and dance. Okay? Because I know we got some hip hoppers out there. Okay? So let's just warm up. We're going to warm up to one song and just everyone get up off the ground and move. Get, make sure you have enough room. I'm going to grab my towel chucks. I'm going to grab my towel chucks. Okay? So I'm going to make sure that I have enough space. Okay? All right, here we go, everyone. Let's go. We're going to go for about four minutes, okay? Ready, set, go. Show us your best moves. Now, if you guys remember, you guys are at home following along. I'm going to look at you guys on the monitor here at Shins. I can see all your faces. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect song. Jump, jump. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little crisscross action. Uh-huh. I bet you all your moms and dads used to boogie to this song. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Shake it. Shake it. Good, good, good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Now, don't forget, you guys can use this as a jump rope. 
You guys can use this as nunchucks. And don't forget, you guys can practice your moves going backwards. You guys can also practice your moves going forward. There you go. The most important part is that you breathe and you try to get your body nice and hot. Okay, before we do stretching, before we stretch out your legs and stuff, you want to make sure that your body gets a little bit warm. And if you get sweaty really fast like we do here, that's okay. Okay, because everyone has different body types. Remember, some people are really tall, some people are really short, some people are, are really wide, some people are like really thin. So it doesn't matter what body shape you have, everybody has their own superpower. Don't forget that. We're going Superpower Tuesday. Okay, today's going to be Superpower Tuesday. We're going to talk about your superpowers today. Keep going. For right now, have a good time. Sit, shake it around a little bit. There we go. You can dance with the towels, the double nunchucks. You can do double nunchuck ropes, like jump ropes. Just get up and move. Come on, moms and dads. I see you. I see. I know there's a couple of you out there. Let's go. Show us your best moves, everybody. Oh, some of you guys are actually getting really good with the towel chucks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm trying to figure out who's got the best moves. A lot of you guys are dancing and practicing your moves. I think that's even so, that's like so cool. Keep going. Oh, we have like brother versus brother driving like a dance off, chuck off. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see a whole bunch of people doing double jumps. Maybe you guys are trying to copy so ready. I get it. I get it. Now, if you guys are checking out Toby, Toby's getting really good. Toby's break dancing, he's doing hip hop dancing, and he's doing double limb chucks. Okay, it's all about like all putting all your different skills together. Everyone has different skills. And remember, skills, that just means like a superpower. Everybody has different superpowers and everyone has one. And some people have more than one, right? Some people have more than one superpower. Keep going, everybody, keep going. And you're allowed to have as many as you want, by the way. You can have more than one superpower. Okay, keep going. That means like you can be kind, you can be right. Kindness is a superpower, right? Being respectful, that's what, that's a superpower. Effort, that's a superpower that means you try hard all the time. Keep going, keep going. Everybody has different types of superpowers. Keep going. Make sure for right now, show us your best moves. Go, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Good, keep going, breathe. Make sure you guys are breathing. Woo, yay, woo, that was, that got me a little warm. Whoa, there we go. Awesome, okay, now, good. Okay, so now watch. I want you guys to just take one towel chuck, one nunchuck, and then set it to the side. Just use one for right now, okay? So I want you guys to go to this combination. Okay, so make sure you guys have enough room. Okay, good, make sure you guys have enough, Toby have enough room, so that he has enough room. We're gonna take our towel chucks and spin it around. Okay, so now watch. I'm gonna teach you guys the wrap around, the, like the, the reach around. You're gonna learn how to wrap, like just turn, like throw it behind your back and catch it with the other hand. Okay, so watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start here, right? You're gonna push, bring it to your belly, and then around the tummy. Did you guys see what I did, right? So I started here. I'm gonna push out, push in, around. Uh-huh. I'm gonna start here. Okay, I'm gonna start with my towel out, my nunchucks out. Right, because that's how you're gonna block, right? So you can block, you can strike. So you want your nunchucks out here, just like when you guys are, are in self-defense mode, you don't want your shield right here by your face like this, because the bully can still hit you in the hand and still gonna hurt you. You want your hands like kinda here in front of you, right? Kinda like here, but never like this. It's the same thing with your nunchucks. So you guys are starting to get really good, so I'm gonna make sure that you guys have like perfect skills. Take your nunchuck here, bring it into your belly, toss it around. And then, and then let go of it. Good, good, good. Now watch, you're gonna catch underneath your armpit. And then, right on, there we go. And then let go of that. And then you're gonna start over. Watch what I'm doing. So that's only two moves. So I know it looks confusing right now, so watch. It's gonna be, this is the first move. You're gonna catch it around your back. Oh, so actually there, there are two moves. And then watch, you're gonna catch it underneath your catch arm. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, so when you guys catch the nunchuck, you're gonna, after you guys go around your back, that's probably gonna be pretty easy for almost all of you. There's gonna be some of you where it's still like kind of hard for you. Okay, so once you guys are here, go around your back, and now watch. I'm gonna let go. With the hand that you let go, it's gonna go underneath your armpit. Okay, and then you're gonna catch it. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna catch it. So when I catch it, it looks like this. 
Do you see how I'm catching it? My hand's way out here, you guys. Do you guys see how I'm catching my, I'm catching it? So I'm facing Toby, but I'm catching it, my hand here. Okay, so now watch the whole thing. It's gonna be here, you push, and as you bring your, your towel chuck, your nunchuck to your belly, you're gonna bring it around the back. And then you go, and you catch it behind your arm. Okay, and then you start over. Around the back, uh-huh, and then you catch. Around the back, catch. Oh I, oh, I didn't put my hand in the right spot. So when you guys do it, and you guys are using your catch hand, make sure it's right here. You don't want it too low, you want it right here. You want it right behind, you want your catch hand behind your shoulder. You guys know what your shoulders are, right? These are your shoulders, so I'm gonna take my catching hand, I'm gonna put it right behind my shoulders, I'm gonna catch the towel chuck like this, okay? So I'm gonna start here, I go around my tummy, okay, now it's around my back, I let go, and then I catch it. And then I go around my belly, around my back, and then I catch it, around the back, uh-huh. There we go, who can do that? Ooh, looks like almost every, oh, not bad. There we go, good, good, there we go. Okay, now, there we go. Uh-huh, so I'm gonna go really slow around the back, and then you catch it in your arm. Around the back, catch it in your arm. Around the back, catch it in the arm. There we go, around the back. Oh, there we go, there we go, keep going. Uh-huh, okay, good, now, new move. So watch, whoa, my shoulders are getting. How do your shoulders feel? Pretty good, right? Okay, so now watch. Everyone do this like a helicopter. Go helicopter. Go, go, go. Oh, grab both your, go grab both, the, grab the other one, grab the other one. Let's go, let's go double nunchuck. Let's go double helicopter blade. We're gonna go double helicopter blade. So we're gonna go both at the same time. Okay, now, oh, so Eddie's doing it the hard way. Now, Toby's gonna do the easy way. He's gonna keep his feet on the floor. So he's gonna do it the hard way. He's gonna like bounce up and down. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Let's have a, let's have a race. Ready? Let's come for competition. Ready, set, go. go. 10, nine, we're gonna beat you. You guys can't beat us. Eight, seven, come on. Six, five, let's go. Four, come on. Three, two, one. Oh, my shoulders. Okay, go get some water, everybody. Put your nunchucks away, get some water. We're gonna say goodbye to Toby. He's gonna go play at the, he, yeah, we built a little tiger park on the roof at Shins. He's gonna go play at the park. Okay, Toby, go take a little, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get a little sip of my refreshing water. Hi, Toby. I put lemon in my water today again. Mmm, mm, that tastes like lemon water. I wonder how that happened. Maybe it's because I put lemon in my water today. Now, while you guys are all at home right now, don't forget, um, don't forget to do your homework. I know it's been really hard on some of your parents because they can't get you guys to do your homework, like your schoolwork, okay? You gotta keep your mind, you have to exercise your mind. So that's like a one way that you guys exercise your mind. I know some of you don't like school, but that's how, that's one of the ways that you exercise your mind, okay? You guys can just read a book, okay? If you don't feel like doing all your schoolwork, even though you're supposed to, you wanna still keep your mind like active, read a book or something, okay? Read a tablet. I don't know if you guys even have books still. Maybe. Okay, all right, now, um, we're gonna practice our punching skills. So make sure that you guys know, remember, when you guys punch, look at my wrist. This is how you don't wanna punch, right? Because I can hurt my wrist. If I hit something really hard like that, ow, that's gonna really hurt. If I do it this way, same thing. And now if I do this, it's the same thing because it might get caught on something. I might break my thumb. So I'm gonna close my hand here Okay, do you guys see the knuckles? Woo! Okay, there's no air in my hand, so make sure that when you guys throw your punches, whether you're punching straight or uppercut or a hook, make sure that your fist has no air in it. I have none, I have no air in my hand. So do you have air in your hand? No, no donuts. He has no donuts. No donuts. No donuts. No donuts. Okay, so now watch. We're gonna do an uppercut with that same hand, it's gonna be a cross. Okay, so watch. So he's gonna show you again. He's gonna go uppercut, and then with the same hand, he's gonna go throw across. But I want you guys to make sure that you put your hand back to your, your cheek before you throw it across. Okay, so watch his hand, everyone. He's gonna throw uppercut, and then he's gonna bring that hand back to his face, and then he's gonna throw it across. 
Okay, you guys saw what we did, right? It's, a, it's an uppercut cross combination. The nickname is like an under over, like you're going under someone's chin, and then you're going over someone's chin. So a lot of people call it over under, oh, like under over. So underneath the chin, over the chin, okay? So now, once you're done, once you're done though, you have to give me a sprawl, okay? So watch, now Sergey's so gonna do the whole combination, okay? Now remember, when you guys sprawl, it's like you're jumping down on your belly, and then you're standing back up, as if like you got pushed down or something, right? Because that's what bullies do, they shove people. So he's gonna do, so he's gonna do the whole combination. Watch, go ahead, sir. Uppercut, cross, sprawl, and then he's gonna change directions. Whoa, he did that so fast. How'd he do that? Whoa. Okay, he's gonna go again, go. Uppercut, cross, sprawl. And then he's gonna change direction. Whoa, he did that so fast. Okay, so everyone back away from your cameras. All right, here we go. So I want uppercut, cross, and then a sprawl. All the advanced students, I want you guys to throw like multiple punches. You guys can come up with your own combinations, but everybody has to do the sprawl. So all the black belts, okay, all my advanced students, all the leadership club students, all my instructor prep students, you guys are, okay, you guys know more punches, okay? So you can throw any kind of combinations that you want with just your hands. For right now, just focus on your punching technique. And then the sprawl. So the sprawl is the one thing that everyone has to do. For all my beginning students, because there's a bunch of you guys logged in right now. We have a lot of students that just started at Shins before this whole virus thing happened. Okay, so they're logged in right now too. And we have some yellow belts logged in. We have purple belts. So remember, it's good to practice the basics, but if it's too easy for you, you can add other punches. I'm only going to pick the uppercut with the cross because I want all the low belts, all the beginners, all the people that just started logging on, right? I want to make sure that we know how to throw each punch like just like a little bit at a time. Because if you throw like five or six punches, most likely it's not going to be correct, okay? So here we go. We're going to go for about a minute, okay? So we're going to go uppercut, cross with the sprawl, and then make sure you change directions, okay? All right, here we go. Ready, set, go for one minute. Let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Now, when you guys are following along, make sure you guys are breathing. Okay, good, 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 breathe, uh-huh, good, nice job. Awesome, good, keep your shields up too. Ooh, you guys are on fire, I can see you on the monitor. Oh, come on in, Sir Dale, Sir Dale's gonna join us too. How cool is that? All right, here we go, get ready. So we're an uppercut and across Sir Dale, uppercut and then, and then a sprawl. And then change directions. Oh, and then face another way. Oh, 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 okay. So Sir Dale's practicing his ninja skills today. Okay, he does a, like, a lot, like a lot of ninja work. Okay, even like on TV shows and stuff, he's always like a ninja. Maybe it's because of his hair. You never know. All right, here we go, keep going, keep going. So it's an uppercut, cross with a sprawl. Now, when you guys do your sprawls, don't get so lazy that you just kind of lay there and you fall asleep. Okay, make sure you get back up. Okay, make sure you guys get back up after the sprawl. Or else it's just called laying down. Okay, so don't lay down. Sprawl, that means belly to the floor, that means hips to the floor, and then pop back up. And now time, rest. Woo, good, catch your breath, catch your breath. Okay, now raise your hand if you know how to do it. So look into your cameras and raise your hand if you know how to do a donkey kick. Raise your hand. Okay, all of you, okay. Who knows how to do a handstand? Okay, good. Okay, so now watch. We're gonna do an X out donkey kick. Okay, raise your hand if you know how to do an X out. That means your legs are apart. So Eddie's gonna show you first, okay? So, so Eddie, watch, go, go, go. Oh, did you guys see how he did his legs apart? That's called an X out donkey kick. It's the letter X. It's one of the letters that you learn when you, like before you read, okay? So Sir Dale's gonna show you his X out donkey kick. Let's see it, Sir Dale. Oh, that was so cool with his wavy ponytail. Did you guys see the ponytail? What's that, you wanna see it again? Okay, here we go, ready? Show me one time, Sir Dale. Oh my gosh! Huh? Huh? Oh, here we go. So, we're gonna practice for one minute. Practice on your own. Make sure you guys don't crash on your face. That's always bad. That never feels good. Okay, so we're gonna practice our X out donkey kicks. All right, here we go. Get ready, set, go. Back away from the cameras. Good. Make sure you guys get all my advanced students. Try to, try to stay upside down a little bit longer than normal. The longer you guys are upside down, or it's called like being inverted, that means upside down, the longer you're inverted, the more your core has to stabilize. Your abs are gonna control your body while it's upside down. 
Okay, so really, really use your stomach muscles to control where your legs go, where your hands go. Remember, and you have to breathe, right? So keep going. If you guys are, like, if you're having all the blood rush to your head because you're upside down for so long, then just catch your breath and then go again once you feel, like, undizzy. Okay, keep going. You guys are awesome. Ooh, some of you guys are doing, like, perfect X out. Some of you, like, did the full splits upside down. Now I just got to figure out who you were. Keep going. Keep going, guys. There's a couple of you that, oh, who was that again? Somebody on my monitor is doing the full splits. Keep going. Keep going. Awesome job, everybody. Looking good. Sir Daryl's looking good. So is Sir Eddie. This is, yeah, wow. They're sore. Sir Eddie's a little sore from yesterday. His legs are sore and his tummy muscles are sore too. I think it's from the, he said from the downward dog. <laughs> so we're going to do some more downward dog today. Let's go try to do two more, everybody. Try to do two more big donkey kicks. Give me two more. Everyone give me two more. There we go. Two more, everybody. Okay, now time. Good. Breathe. Now, let's have a stretching contest. We're going to have a stretching contest. We're going to have a middle splits contest. All of you on the same team versus Sir Eddie and Sir Dale. Okay, so you guys are on the same team. So whoever can go the lowest on their middle splits, that's the winning team. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Make sure you guys, we can see you. That way we can see if you have the full splits or not. Ready? One, two, three, go. Middle splits competition. Go, go, go. So we're going to judge. We're going to make the judgment like in 30 seconds. So I'm going to give you guys like about 30 seconds to bring your legs down like as low as you can. But you have to make sure you stay there. If you stand back up, you're cheating and that doesn't count. That means you're out of the game. So they have to stay there. I know Sir Eddie's, how that feel, Sir Eddie? Pretty, pretty bad, pretty good. He says pretty bad, pretty good. <laughs> pretty bad, pretty good. Pretty bad, pretty good. Pretty bad, pretty good. Okay, how's your legs feel, Sir Dale? Great. Oh, he's great. With a capital, great. Okay, keep going. Good, let's go. Well, I'll stay there. Okay, now, Sir Ryan is behind the monitor today. He's live chat. He's live right now with you guys. Let's Hello, see. Ryan. Somebody is so Luke low. Hanna is really low. No. Who is it? Luke Hanna. Luke Hanna? Who else has got who else is beating them? Chloe Skinner? Oh my gosh, Chloe Skinner too. Who else is that? Oh, that's Mila. Of course. Is that Mila? That is. Nice. And then Georgia and Hope? Ooh, who else? Chloe. Oh yeah, Joanne, go get him. Yeah, she's a grown up too. She's a grown up. And so like her muscles are all grown up, like so down so ladies, and she's still beating them. Yay! Yay! Alex Chen is going really Ooh, well. Oh, Sophia, nice job. Who else? Alex Chen? Alex Chen. Ooh, he's really low. I think he's feeling it a little bit. Oh, buddy, some of you guys are so low, I can't even see you. Oh, my goodness. Great. Ow, your legs look like they're going to. Oh, okay, time, breathe. Oh, oh, stand up. Stand up. Oh, my gosh, that looks like it hurt. Okay, you guys won. There's a whole bunch of people with the full splits. Okay, so now, since Sir Eddie and Sir Dell, like, didn't, they didn't win, they lost. They lost the competition, okay? They gotta do five burpees, okay, five. So normally they make you guys do burpees. Today you guys made them do burpees. Now, for all my advanced students, all my high belts, you have to do that with them. So five burpees for all my advanced students, okay, ready? Go, 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 go. If you guys wanna, yeah, if you guys wanna watch them do burpees, you can do that too. But if you're a high belt, if you're one of our leadership cup students, our black belt students, you guys have to do this with them. Great job, great job. You guys are on fire, good work. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so catch your breath. So now, this time we're gonna work on one combination before we take a little breather. It's gonna be an uppercut hook with a roundhouse kick. Now, you guys can do any kind of roundhouse kick you want because I know some people go, ooh, I know how to do like tornado kicks. Uh, some of you guys know how to do like backside nine. Uh, there's a different bunch of variations, right? You can do a fakey roundhouse. You can do tornado, right? You can do pop up. So, but the two punches have to be the same. So. Doesn't matter who you are, your punches have to be the same. It's going to be an uppercut, so Sir Eddie, show them for uppercut, then a hook, and then any kind of roundhouse. Good, and then the next time it can be something different. But after you're done, you have to face a different direction. Okay, now don't forget, Sir Ryan showed me a good, uh, a good hack for home. This is just a beach towel rolled up. So like some of you have brothers and sisters that are strong enough to hold this towel for you. So it's just a beach towel. So if you guys want to take turns holding this, I know some moms and dads have been doing this at home with you. They're holding like the beach towel with the painter's tape, right? So like, for example, watch what I mean. So if you guys remember, some of you guys don't get, it feels really good on your body to hit something in here because that's how we get our aggressions out. Everybody has aggression and it's okay if it's not a bad thing. 
but right, a lot of us like want to hit something. So you guys, a lot of you guys are missing out on that contact, on the physical contact of actually punching the bags here, right? We have bags here, we have kicks, we, uh, we have kicking bags with like the shields, right? With the kicking paddles. So if you want to kick, like actually hit something with that, like not hit your brother or sister or mom and dad, because that's always no, 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 okay? You can kick and punch this, okay? So watch, for example, so Eddie's gonna throw the uppercut hook and then roundhouse kick on the beach towel. So uppercut, hook, roundhouse. Oh, he missed the beach towel. I made him miss, I made him miss. Okay, so watch, he's gonna do it again, okay? So he's gonna go uppercut, hook, roundhouse. But he got to actually hit something. And then Sir Dale would go, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. Oh, oh, he almost knocked it out of my hand. Okay, so if you guys want to actually hit something, have mom and dad help you make this. It's just a beach towel rolled up sideways, kind of like your nunchucks, but it's like going to be bigger and tighter, and it's going to be thicker, so it's going to probably take two hands to hold it. So if, I know some of you guys at home have been actually doing that, so just don't kick and punch each other, like on the body or the face, because that's bad, okay? All right, here we go. So on your own, back away from your cameras, Make sure you guys practice like good technique on your roundhouse kicks, okay? Here we go. Get ready, set, go. So, while you guys are backing away from the camera, so it's gonna be uppercut, hook, and then a roundhouse kick. And don't forget, you guys can do any kind of roundhouse kick you want. There's so many different kinds, right? There's, there's like the kind where you spin around, there's the kind where you don't spin around. There's the kind where you like lift your leg up and don't put it down until you like have thrown like four or five kicks in a row. There's like fakey roundhouse kicks. There's pop-up roundhouse kicks. There's so many different variations of this. You can do tornado roundhouse kicks. Okay, so the two punches will have to be the same for everybody. You're gonna throw an uppercut. And remember, the uppercut, don't forget your knuckles have to be flat. If your wrist is bent, you're gonna hurt your hand, okay? so. Don't forget, you have to, you still have to use proper technique, even though I want you guys to go like with intensity, that means like going hard, right? And you're breathing out with those punches and kicks and you should have speed also, don't forget. You not, not only do you want power, but you should also be fast, okay? And the breathing is gonna control both of those things. It's gonna control your power and your speed. Good, make sure those wrists are straight. All right, and hook punch, same thing. Make sure the wrist is straight, okay? Whether you throw a hook punch like this or like this, just make sure that your wrist stays straight, okay? Good, and then throw that roundhouse kick. Sometimes you guys can kick low, sometimes you can kick high. Awesome job. Okay, now time. Okay, now catch your breath. Now watch, this is gonna be a tummy exercise. Okay, I'm gonna give your arms and legs just a little bit of rest. Okay, so it's a tummy exercise. So watch what I want you guys to do. You're gonna start in side plank position. Okay, so let's start in side plank position. That means you're only gonna be on one arm. There we go. Okay, you see how Sir Dale has his hands on his hips? So all he's gonna do is shake his hips, ooh, like you're doing the hula, okay? But you're gonna shake it up and down, like up and down. Like don't twist your hips, like, but you're gonna shake it up and down. Hips only go up and down. So make sure that your hip doesn't touch the floor. So whichever hip is like closest to the ground, make sure you don't touch it to the floor. We're gonna do each side for 20 seconds. Okay, all my advanced students get started now. Okay, here we go. Everybody else, get ready. So get ready. You can keep one arm here and make sure that you're going to just shake your hips up and down. Okay, ready, set, go. Now, make sure, that, make sure that the top leg is on top of the bottom leg. You should only have, you should, both your legs are going to be straight. Both legs should be here. So like watch Sir Dale, he has one leg on top of the other leg. Make sure you have one leg on top of the other leg. And don't crash. If you guys crash, it's okay. Just kind of like brush yourself off and go again. I, I saw a couple of people fall, but that's okay. That just means you're trying to learn your balance, right? So everyone has different like balances. So Sir so Eddie's going like turbo speed. Whoa, he must have had a really good breakfast. Yes. Or he's in a good mood because the sun is out. Yes. Okay, time. He said yes, so he's in a good mood because the sun is out today. Rest your tummy. So now, while you're resting your tummy, if all the high belts, go ahead and switch sides and go ahead and start. So now, all the other ones that are still a little bit confused, when you guys go in your side plank position, it's only your forearm, right? So it's this part of your arm that's on the floor. If you have to open your hand, like you guys can open your hand and, and, and put your weight on the floor this way. So you can do, you can have, be side plank like this with one arm or side plank like this. 
Okay, but the other hand probably is going to feel better if you put it on your hip. And then you just shake your hip up and down. Okay, ready, go. Go, go, go. This is called a side plank position. Moms and dads, if you guys are doing this along with them, just be mindful if you have like a, a shoulder, like if you have a bad shoulder or if you have a sore shoulder, make sure you guys are, are like really thoughtful of that. Okay, make sure that you guys are actually thinking, okay, this shoulder is a bad shoulder, so I'm going to try to modify this. You guys can also change this to make it harder. You can also change it the other way to make it easier. Okay, so remember, we have black belts log in right now. We have white belts log in right now. But I see them on the computer at home. Like, I'm, I can see you guys. You guys are all going at your pace. All my leaders are going pretty fast right now, which is great. There we go. And try to do this as many times without resting. I see a bunch of my high belts that aren't even resting yet because that, that's who they are. They're, and I got a bunch of low, like low belt meatheads out there. Part of our meat, meathead club. Woo! Good. Looking good, guys. Awesome. Awesome job. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, time. Rest. Woo! How that feel so ready? Right now. <laughs> oh, he's dripping sweat again. That means he's drinking lots of water. So remember, make sure that you guys are drinking a lot of water. Water is very important because remember, think about what your body is. What's your body made up mostly of, Sir Dale? Water. Water. Sir Dale, I mean, Sir Eddie, what, what's your body mostly made up? Water, sir. You guys, most of your body is made up of water, so you have to replenish. What happens when you don't drink enough water during the day, your organs start to like, it, they get dehydrated. You don't want your organs to be dehydrated and your muscles. We want to keep those muscles like nice and loose and flexible, right? We don't want your organs to get all dried up like a raisin, okay? So drink lots of water. You don't have to like, you don't have to, like guzzle your water, but you should be drinking a lot of water throughout the whole day, okay? Okay, now, next exercise, okay? This one's, uh, this one's probably a little bit harder, okay? So now watch, this is called downward dog. It's a yoga move. Okay, so if mommy and daddy do yoga, if you guys do yoga with mom and dad or you guys do yoga, it's like a yoga move, okay? But you guys can also use it for safeguard. You guys can use this move on the trampolines. You guys can use this move for like tricking or all of our kick and foot classes. So now watch, Sir Dale and Sir Eddie are going to be facing each other just at a slight angle, like a little bit of an angle. And they're going to start with downward dog. That means their tushy is up in the air a little bit, okay? Their hips are up. And this is going to be a good stretch on their back too, okay? You see how, you see how they're... Their, their body is like an upside down V, okay? Now, every time their hips go back down, so now bring the hips down to push a position. There we go. And that's all I want you guys to do. So simple. And then go hips up, downward dog. There we go, and get a good stretch, okay? And then they're gonna go hips down. I want you guys to have your hips up for like two to three seconds. That's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then it goes to the down position, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then back up. I like using Mississippi because that's how I got taught how to count without like a stopwatch. Old school, you have like, we didn't have like iPhones for stopwatches. We didn't have stopwatches. We had to figure out a way to count like correctly. So I learned how to do it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Everyone probably learned it differently, but that's my way, okay? So I want you guys to do this for 30 seconds, okay? You're gonna go downward dog to push up position, back up to downward dog, but you have to change positions every three seconds. All my advanced students, you have to actually do a push up when you go down. All the black belts, you have to do actual push up. You guys should be able to get 15 to 20 good push ups, okay? Here we go, ready, start, go, begin. So if you guys are like, like my part of my meathead club, right, Alan, you know who you are. All my meatheads out there, Cole Harbour, you're meathead. Right, Super Celeste, if you're watching Smith Sisters, you guys are meatheads. You guys know who you are. There's a whole bunch of people logged in that are meatheads. We have a special club here at Shins. We call it the Meathead Club. We are all, all the instructors are part of that club, and we got a whole bunch of you. If you want to challenge yourself, when you guys go down, like down, like to the bottom of the floor from downward dog position, do a push up and then come back up to downward dog. But only if you want to be challenged, and some people are still learning the technique. So beginners, like if you guys are really sore, you don't have to do the push-up. Remember, there's an easy way to do this move, and there's a harder way to do this. So the harder way is to do it with the push-up. And when you guys take your black belt test, just in case you didn't know, you have to do 50 full push-ups at the very end of your test. Five zero. That's one more than 49. So you have to train your muscles now. You have to get your muscles super strong, like now. It's always good to have strong muscles, everybody. Good job, let's do a couple of more. Great job, great job. 
Okay, now time. Good. Breathe and relax. Good. Okay, now catch your breath. Good. So now, um, remember, who knows how to remember how to do an S position, S mount? Raise your hand. Okay, so now what? So Eddie and Sir Dale are going to go in S position, so everyone look at your cameras. Oh, look at everyone's here. I'm all my friends. Yay. Okay, so they're going to go from S position to post to front snap kick, back down to post, back down to S position. So Eddie's going to show you first. Snap kick. He goes back down. Oh, did you even notice he didn't, he didn't use his hands? It says we're frozen. Floating. Oh, boy, we're frozen. Wave high if, if we're, well, they, can you guys hear me? Is the internet down? I don't know. I'm going to keep talking. Then we can practice this. There we go. Uh-huh. Raise your hand if we're frozen. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see us? Can you guys see us? No? No, cameraman, IT guy. We have a, raise, raise your hand if you can see us. Who can see us? Who can see us? Raise your hand. No? Can anybody see me? I have no friends. Who are my friends? I am so sad. I can't see you. Can you guys see me? I can't see you. Hi, Sid. No? Buffering. Carter? Um, no? <laughs> Hello? Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? No? No one can see me? Hello? Hello, Sophia? Hello? Can anybody see me? Oh, the Martinez brothers. Nice. Yay. Hey, Maddie. Can anyone see me? Can you guys see me on my back? Oh, our computer froze over here. Our internet connection, no bueno. Can you guys see me now? No? Can you guys see me now? I think Sir Dale's trying to like hit you guys up on live chat. There we go. Are we lagging? Are we buffering still? Buffers. There we go. Okay, looks like we're done. Well, I think we're done buffering. All right, here we go. Whew! That was weird. Our internet was frozen for a little bit, and that's gonna happen with your technology, right? So now, so now, remember, uh, you guys, we should be back on, right? Wave, wave your hand if you guys can hear us. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we're back on. Hey. Woo! Got a little tricky internet deal, huh? Loading. I think it's maybe the I think it's maybe the wind. The I think it's maybe the wind. Okay, so now watch. I want you guys to start in S position. So so down, so so they're gonna go down. So watch, they're gonna go post, they're gonna post, front snap kick, and then re down, they're gonna go back down and then re oh and they're gonna reset in their S mount position. I want you guys to do this without your hands. If you have to use your hands, put your hands down and use them. Okay, because I don't want you guys to crash on your face. Okay, but all my leaders, I want you guys to do it without no hands. Instructor prep, black belt students, no hands. So S mount to post to front snap kick. Ready, go. Okay, so now, while you guys are following along with Sir Eddie and Sir Dale here at Shins, good, make sure you guys are using proper form and good technique. You're going to start with one leg bent in front of you and then one leg bent behind you. That's what makes an S position. It literally looks like the letter S. The letter S, okay? Good, good, good. And then once you guys post, make sure that your back and shoulders are straight. Like, don't be hunched over. Be straight. And then make sure when you throw your front snap kick that your shield is here. We never kick with our shields down. And don't forget where your shield is. It's literally like an invisible shield. But it's your arms, right? That's how we block. That's how we block and cover. And remember, you're only going to block out here like if someone has, like, something in their hands besides just their fist. Okay, there we go, good, keep going. And now time, good, good job. Now, if you're confused a little bit about what the S position is, don't forget, all it is is one leg bent in front of you, one leg bent behind you. That's all the S mount is, okay? This can be like a, this move can be used for safeguard, it can be used for yoga, it's like a yoga pose again too. Okay, some people use this move for yoga, you can you guys use it for break dancing, okay, because it's set up for a flare and for a windmill, so this one movement is used by a lot of different people. Okay, so now you guys are going to switch bases. That means switch sides. Okay, so remember, when you guys do this, all my high belts, or all my leaders, all instructor prep, I want you guys to try this combination without your hands, okay? But if you have to use your hand, I'm, what I'm saying, it's, it's okay to use your hands also. Okay, so you're going to go from the mount, to, you're going to go from the S mount position to post, to front snap kick, and then you're going to go back down to post, back to S position. Here we go, get ready, back away from the cameras. Here we go, ready, set, go. Good job, everybody. Keep going. There we go. You're going to follow along with Sir Eddie and Sir Dale. 
Great job. You guys are doing awesome. Yay. Keep going. Keep going. And we're going to try to finish with those towel chucks with your nunchucks. We're going to try to finish with those today. Okay, because I want you guys want to see those new tricks. Because don't forget, we're going to use, I want you guys to show me all your skills this week. And then we're probably going to start learning how to do bow chucks. It's going to be like a beach towel rolled up like a nunchuck, but it's bigger and longer, so it's going to be harder and heavier. So keep going. Remember, make sure you guys are practicing safely at home. Make sure all the furniture is like away. Some of you have like bags, so that's cool that you guys are using bags. If you guys are using our towel hack, remember you guys can roll up a beach towel and use that for like a kicking, like a kicking paddle or like a punching bag, right? But you have to make sure that someone's strong enough to hold it for you. Okay, that means you're not kicking, like don't punch and kick your brother or sister. Good, good, good. Uh huh. Good job. Good. Make sure you guys are breathing throughout this whole exercise. Breathe in, breathe out. You don't want to hold all that oxygen in your body. You want to release it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Great job, everybody. Good. Now time. Good. Breathe. Catch your breath. Good. Get some water. If you're thirsty, get some water. It's hot out today. Okay. Looks like a bunch of you guys are wearing shorts. It's not raining anymore. Yay. I like that. I like that when the, I like that when the sunshine comes out. Good. 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 Okay. Awesome job, everybody. Now go grab your towel chucks. Go ahead and grab them again. Go grab them again. Good. 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 Go ahead and grab them again. Good. Now, I want you guys to do this. Uh, I want you guys to use your double nunchucks, right? We're going to use it for a jump rope right now, okay? We're going to learn how to do a crisscross to a double jump, okay? It's going to be a crisscross to a double jump. So I'm going to show real slow while you guys are catching your breath. Crisscross to a double jump. So Eddie, why don't you show them? There we go. He's going to go crisscross, double jump. Did you guys see what he did? So that's a combination with this. And that combination is going to work whether you're using this for nunchucks or for a jump rope. But I want you guys to all practice this move. You have to jump on purpose, okay? Because we're trying to engage your tummy muscles. And we're also trying to keep all your like, leg muscles, your back muscles. We're trying to keep them lean and we're trying to keep them fit. Okay, so your shoulders are going to not like you, obviously, because it's burn, going to burn. But the rest of your body is going to be, like, feel the pain, too, okay? So watch. So he's going to go crisscross and then double jump. And then Sir Dale's going to try it. He's going to go crisscross, double jump. Oh, whoa, like a, he glided. He, like, floated on the air. He floated. He floated. Okay, so that's the combination I want you guys to practice, okay? So it's going to be a crisscross to a double jump. Over and over, but catch your breath. After you're done with your double jump, catch your breath and then go again. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this for a minute, which is like a long time. Ready, go. Okay, the minute's going to start now. Go, go, go. So make sure you guys have enough room. I want you guys to practice crisscross to a double jump. Crisscross, right? All you're going to do is like make an X with your arms. It's like you're going to hug yourself. Oh, I'm so cold, right? That's all you're burr. And then you're going to come back out. Okay, the secret is to keep your nunchucks moving. Keep the towel chucks moving. So after your crisscross, you keep it moving. If you stall, that means like you stop halfway through your, your crisscross. Oh, I thought it was, sometimes you're gonna hit yourself in the head. And I know this doesn't hurt, but some of you are gonna probably learn how, like wanna learn how to do like real nunchucks. And so you wanna make sure that your technique is good and like correct. Okay, so once you guys do your, your crisscross, Make sure that your towel chuck and your nunchucks keep moving. Don't stall. Don't stop your movement halfway, like halfway through the move. You got a crisscross and then double chuck. Okay, double, uh, double jump. Do a crisscross and double. Okay, that means two, twice. You're going to make two fast circles. That's the key to a fast double swing through. You're going to just two, one, two. So one, two. You're going to make one circle, two circles. That's a double. One, two. But you gotta do it full speed. Make sure that your double is full speed. Okay, now time. Good. Catch your breath. That was pretty. That was good. That got your blood going, right? That got your blood going. Now I'm gonna challenge Sir Eddie and Sir Dell. I want you guys to challenge them too. You're gonna do the whole thing going backwards now. You're gonna go backwards crisscross to a backwards double swing. Everything's going backwards. So before you guys were going forward. But now you guys have to go backward. Okay, it's gonna be backwards. Backwards, you're gonna go backwards crisscross into a backwards double. And remember, if you like smack yourself a little bit with the towel, 
Just make sure that your eyes don't get poked, okay? Other than that, it's not going to hurt. Other than that, okay, the danger is that you guys are going to smack your face. If you know you're going to get smacked, just shut your eyes. Like, if you know you mess up, oh, close my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes because even if I smack myself, it's going to get hurt. Like, if I'm feeling good, but my eyes aren't going to get poked out, okay? Here we go. Ready for one minute? Ready? Go. Backwards. Go. So I want to backwards crisscross, everybody. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost hit myself again. You're going to go back. Yeah, I see Dylan. I see right here. Let's see if they can do it. Backwards crawl. I just did it. Yeah, I did it right. I did it right. Woo! -hoo. So backwards. Oh, I did it again. It's two in a row. I'm going to go backwards crisscross and then double. Backwards crisscross. Oh, yeah. It's like double nunchucks. This is more like a double nunchucks move. So like, if you guys are doing this and you're doing it right, I can promise you can do it with real nunchucks. Okay, if you're like hitting myself, like if you're hitting yourself like me, so Dell, I think he just smacked himself too. Oh, yeah. yeah, so Dell, I think so he hit himself too a couple times. Yeah. So that's like this combination is more of like a nunchuck movement. The forward movement is definitely like a jump rope movement. So remember, you guys can do the same moves or similar moves for a different application. That means you guys can use it for something different. All right, it looks like a lot of you guys, your shoulders are burning because I'm seeing a lot of this like, oh, my shoulders are burning. Keep going. If Sir Eddie, Sir Eddie and Sir Dell, they're old people. They're old. If old people can do this, you can do this too. Why? Because young people can do anything. Go, keep going, keep going, young people. Keep going, young people. Keep going, crisscross. There we go, crisscross and double, crisscross and then double, criss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, time. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. Now watch one more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge your tummy muscles one more time. Okay. So now watch. I want you guys to do half Superman. We've been doing, I think this is maybe our third time doing them, maybe. Okay, so now watch. Sir Eddie and Sir Dell are going to be in push-up position. This is a really good challenge for people that have to work on their balance. Your opposite arm and opposite leg are going to leave the ground, and they're going to touch the ground at the same time. So show them, Sir Eddie, Sir Dell. Go ahead, opposite arm, opposite leg. And make sure that the, make sure your hand and your foot leave the ground and come back on the ground at the same time. This is the final thing we're going to do. You got to do this for 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. So make sure you guys have enough room. Back away from your cameras. You're going to start in push-up position. And you're going to go opposite arm. So opposite arm is going to look like this. Opposite arm, opposite leg, off the floor. When you guys go opposite arm, opposite leg, off the floor, make sure that you put them both down at the same time. So it's not going to be galloping. You're not going to go like foot hand or hand foot. Both your one hand, just one hand and one foot, are going to touch the ground at the same time. They're going to leave the ground at the same time and then touch the floor at the same time. And the whole thing, while you're doing the whole movement, breathe. Shh. Breathe in and then breathe out. There we go. Great job, everybody. Awesome. Keep going. Keep going. Awesome. You guys are looking. Awesome. Keep going. Breathe. Ooh. We got people that are, oh, nice job. You guys, some of you guys are challenging yourself. There we go. Time. Get, catch your breath. Breathe. So now I saw like two or three people do this without even me saying it. Well, I think, I don't know who it is. So I'm going to make everyone do it now. You're going to do a push-up and then do a half Superman, half Superman. I don't know who just did that at home on their own, but watch. Someone just did it on the monitor. I want to show you guys what a couple of people I just saw. Do a push-up and then half Superman, half Superman. Push-up. Oh, even Sir Eddie had a hard time with that. And then push up, and then half Superman, half Superman. How it feel, Sir Eddie? Feels great. Okay, there you go, ready? So this is here for 10 seconds. Okay, so you gotta do a push up before the half Superman. Only for 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. So back away from the cameras, I'm gonna wait till everyone starts. You gotta do it for 10 seconds, everybody. So you're gonna do one push up, and then a half Superman, half Superman. Keep going, do eight more. And then seven more seconds. Keep going, everybody. I want you guys to go for six more seconds. You're going to go for five more seconds. Don't forget, you're going to do a push-up. And then a half Superman with another half Superman. Great job. In three, two, one, and tiempo. That means time in Spanish. Time. Good. Catch your breath. Good job. Whoa, you guys are awesome. Grab your water bottles. Good. Come up to the cameras. Good job. Get some water real fast. Great job. Great job. I'll take mine, Mr. Cameraman. There you go, Mr. Director. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so um, 
let's see, we're, today we're going to face with some of the things that, like, Sir Dale, I'm going to have Sir Ed, Dale and Sir Eddie come up here and, and uh, tell you guys, like, some of the ways they've been, like, keeping themselves busy, right? Because we don't want to be, it's like, being bored at home is like, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like no fun. So, Sir Dale, what are some of the things that you've been doing to keep yourself busy? Uh, taking care of all my animals. He's got a lot. He's got a lot of animals. He loves animals. I love animals. I hope you guys love animals too. I've been doing a lot of art stuff. Ooh, you guys. So if you guys have, don't even know, like Sir Dell is like an amazing artist. Who knew that he was like an amazing artist? Some of you already know. He can draw some really cool stuff and he does it really fast. So since he has all this extra time, right? He's been practicing his artwork. What else, Sir Dale? I've been filming random uh, YouTube videos. Oh! They're not out yet. <laughs> They're not out yet, but everyone's been on YouTube a lot lately, right? Like, I've been on a lot of YouTube. Even my parents have been on YouTube. So, find different ways to keep yourself busy. Just don't sit there and, like, twiddle your thumb and go, oh my gosh, I'm so bored, I'm so bored. Find something that's fun to do, that, like, that challenges your mind, challenges your body, but, okay, Thank you, Sir Dale. Woo! Sir Eddie, what are some of the things that you've been doing to keep yourself busy? Uh, <clears throat> like word search puzzles. Like, is that like, that like keeps on oh. focusing like a lot of them. Word uh, search puzzles, um, guys. Like coloring, you know, like coloring books or drawing stuff a picture, color it however you want. And then last thing is learning how to sew. Like, Ooh. I have oh. some stuff that I need to like sew the holes or whatever. So learning how to sew is Right, so all these things, guys, like he's like working on like new skills. Like I don't even know how to sew. Like I should know how to sew, but I don't know how to sew, right? So if you if you're like if you want to learn like different things, like ask mom, dad, I'm gonna learn how to do this. I want to learn how to do that. Okay, can I get some more books? Can I get some more coloring books? Can I get more of this? So okay, mom and dad can help you like with other stuff, like with things to keep you busy. Okay, just don't be bored. Okay, you want to keep your mind active. You want to keep your body active. Okay, like for me, I've been doing like a lot of cooking. I love to cook. I love to eat. Mm. I always tell people. True story, when I first meet someone, I always tell people I'm on a seafood diet, <laughs> right? You guys know what I mean by a seafood diet? Whatever food I see, I want to eat. I see it, I eat it. Seafood diet. Uh, I thought you guys probably thought, oh, we like shrimp. Seafood diet. No, whatever food I see, I want to eat it, okay? So um, while you guys are at home, don't forget, okay? Keep yourselves busy, but also stay connected. Make sure that you're like, you know, like if you, your grandma, grandpa, okay? If you have a grandma, grandpa, if you're lucky enough to have grandma, grandpa around still, call them, FaceTime them, Skype them, shoot them a text, send them funny pictures of you like doing funny faces, okay? Grandparents love that stuff, okay? Like send them a funny picture, like ah! They're gonna watch that video or picture and go, oh my goodness, that just made my day, okay? Stay connected with your friends. Stay connected with all the people that you really care about. Okay, and if you remember, if you guys can't go next door and play with your friends next door, just go outside and wave hi. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Just so that you guys have that human connection, okay? And that's why we're logging in every day, so that we maintain our connection with each other. It's so important. Okay, great job, everybody. A lot of you guys are going to tune back in a few minutes for our, our advanced portion. That class, that class is going to be much harder today. So, okay, so if you guys are logging back in for the dance class, be ready. Okay, if not, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I believe we're going to have some guest stars appearing either this week or next week. Um, pretty, I think Toby's cousins are in town. Okay, i got to figure out where they are, though. Okay, they, they might be like in the jungle. I don't know where they are. So I'm going to have to find Toby's cousins, and then uh, and we'll have them come on for an episode. Okay, all right, we'll feel you hands up. And chat, can you? All right, well, Sir Dale, you're going to break us out today. Air five, air five, air five. Go ahead, go, boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go. Face in the middle. Shins, go. We'll see you guys in a few minutes, or we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.